to the wonderful world of FIPGAGE's Virtual Power Management. Today I'm going to show you my new virtual power management system which supersedes the old one where you would have to select which aircraft type, whether it was simulator, PMDG 737 or PMDG 747, and whether you're using avionics, battery or main bus power to actually determine the voltage that we were receiving from the simulator. That's all been stripped out now. It was a bit of an unnecessary overhead because every gauge was checking all of those variables all of the time. So now we've ripped all of that out from all of our gauges and now we are only looking at one variable. The beauty of it is that it's one variable that you can select. Okay, so by default, gauges that have been updated with the new virtual power management, the power management will be turned off automatically by default so it will turn off the whole power management system the reason for that is is because we haven't set up what variable we need for the gauges to come alive so i didn't want all your gauges suddenly just to turn off and um, so i actually disable the power management feature until you can actually activate the variable selection once we've made our virtual power management variable selection then we'll be able to re-enable the virtual power management system so we can actually do that now we can turn the power management system back on but we're not getting any voltage from the one variable that we are looking for voltage from. So we set this variable using an online snippet that we can load in from SPAD. So we need to get that installed first off and then we can get our voltage into the gauge and then we can start messing with the gauge settings. Okay, so here we are inside the SPAD user interface. So now the power path that goes through the online snippet so we need to make certain that we install this snippet. Now, I suggest that you use the first fit power button. Now, this snippet must only be installed once within your profile. Do not install it multiple times, it will conflict. So you only wanna run the script once inside your profile. Okay, so once you've selected your first fit's power button, go and click on the online the snippets. Now we need to do a search in here for virtual power event and it will find the fipcages.com virtual power event you just highlight it and then click OK and that will load the event into the user interface okay so now you can see that the gauge has actually come to life it's all gone green we're actually now getting power we're getting power from the SimConnect electrical main bus voltage and that is being fed to my internal voltage global voltage and you can see here it says set FIP gauges global voltage to the value of electrical main bus voltage. So you're basically feeding the electric bus voltage into the gauge. So to change this, we simply need to edit the script. So we double click to open the script and now you can see my gauge voltage is on the left and the voltage that you need to select is on the right. So we need to edit both the condition and the event. So the voltage variable must be the same in the condition and the event, because you're saying if my voltage variable doesn't e equal yours, then make mine equal to yours. Okay, so even though we've got voltage coming in at the moment from the main bus, we can select a different voltage variable if we want. So I'm just gonna change that. So we'll go into here and I'm gonna look for the battery. Battery bus. So we can go for the battery bus voltage, which is just slightly different. And again, you must change the voltage that you're actually reading. And we'll do the battery one here as well. Okay, so now we've actually changed the variable that is being used to read the voltage from your aircraft. And if you have a third party aircraft, you just put your LVAR variable in there. Okay, so now we're back in gauge. We can use the right dial to change the variable value for the minimum voltage. So as I increase this, the re expected voltage is 23, expected now 24, and it's no longer meeting the voltage that we're getting in from the aircraft. So the gauge is now virtual power down and it's showing that the power is off. Now at this point, you can turn off the power management function by toggling the 
S6 button and that will then disable virtual power and force the gauges to come back on again and you can press S6 to toggle the virtual power back on and it's saying ah, there's not enough power from the DC voltage here I want 26 I'm getting 23 the voltage is off so you can select your threshold and you can change that to what you like it's currently 20 volts as default on the new virtual power management system so on gauges that have had the updates to this system now in the menus you'll see that it has a status display as it did on the old version but now we've got the option on S6 button to toggle so each gauge will give you the ability to toggle power management on and off and it's global for all gauges so you do it on one it does it for them all so you can disable power management within the gauge menus now okay so we'll re-enable the power management on this gauge and you can see currently I'm not getting any power from the aircraft now and therefore the gauge itself is actually powered down and if we go to a glass gauge you'll see that the glass gauge isn't really producing any output it's just showing that there's a, a border around the outside now if we go back to power management and then we turn always on so it's enabled when you go back to the other gauges you can see that the analog gauge is powered up and the digital gauge is actually displayed as well so we'll go back to the power management gauge again and we'll re-enable the power management system now we'll drop the voltage back down so we've got power and again you can see that the power is good on all gauges we go above and then we can see that there's no power on the analog gauges no power on the digital gauges so as long as that power path ultimately produces power your gauges will power up okay so I'll put this back down to 20 volts say so it all powers back up again so that's pretty much how the global power management works you can say just turn it off at any time just by running this gauge and then flicking it off or doing the same from any gauge that has the new power management system in it you can just S6 it so if you have this little star icon next to the S6 button then the S6 button will toggle the power on and off if you're using one of the older gauges it will give you the status but won't give you the option of actually toggling the power on or off there that's how you'll know whether the gauge is using the old power management system or whether it's using the new one okay so also in the gauge we have the S5 function which sets the DC voltage threshold to minus 2 volts of what's current so it's currently too high at the moment because the voltage we get from the aircraft is lower than what we're expecting but you can set the voltage to 2 volts less than what we're currently getting that's a way of forcing the power to come on by saying yeah set the threshold 2 volts lower than what we're actually getting so it will just turn it on now if we're not getting any voltage at all I can turn off my power on the aircraft if I set that it's going to just set the whole thing off because it can't set 2 volts below nothing so it just turns the whole system off so we can turn that back on and we're going to set the threshold back to 30 turn the power on the aircraft back on as you can see that's um, too high for the voltage that we're getting if we press the S5 button that sets it to 26 volts and then everything turns back on again okay so I'm currently sitting in my Cessna and the generator is on and I'm getting 28 volts now if I turn off the generator the voltage is going to drop just enough for it to take it up under the threshold and I've now got my gauges switching off but I'm still getting voltage from the aircraft but it's not enough to power the gauges so turn the generator back on and the gauges come back on but you can set this so that you can goes off with the battery if you wanted to so I'm going to set that a little bit lower now I can turn off the generator the gauges are still running I'm getting more than 19 volts if I turn off the battery bang the whole lot goes out okay so I hope you found this gauge tutorial useful um, and I hope you like the changes I made to the functionality so please if you haven't subscribed do so and don't forget to come back and check out some of our other gauge videos thanks for watching bye for now